have anti-Catholic tensions in the region been rising? Not really until probably we can say about a decade ago when there has been, you know, the issue of Boko Haram came in mm -hmm. with their with their not compliance with the Western education or Western style of life. They attack and then when they burn their houses, destroy their churches, places of worship, schools, kill and maim, those who survive run and leave the place and then they occupy. So it looks like it's a kind of, you know, an, uh, a systematic agenda mm. of, you know, uh, uh, conquering the territory of the native Nigerians. And do you believe that this is then what you would call a security crisis for nati native Nigerians? I will security crisis, yes. But I think the government should have a lot to answer to why this is continuously going on without even being checked. Within the month of March and May, there have been 12 attacks. We have a church packed full with worshippers on Pentecost Sunday. And up to now, the government has not said, issued any statement whether to the arrest of those people or whatever it is. What kind of a government is that? So then would so you say that Catholics are not safe to worship in Nigeria, at least in not your diocese? Not just Catholics. I think it's a Christian population, not only Catholics, so to say. Let us be fair. I have a pastoral question for you, knowing that there's a lot of um, terror there. Is the faith no. growing in any way because of the opposition, because of the threats and the violence? Uh, the, the faith is growing, but then it is... We are like, God let's say, is growing, but I say in quality, but not the expansion is not there because most of the places have been taken over by this group, like in my diocese and some other places. So people can get back. They are now clustered in the in the in the, in those shelters or in those IDP camps, but then they see live their faith. So on that level, the faith is still growing. But in terms of expansion, one. We may not have to build churches in those places. We may not have to put up hospitals or clinics in those areas because it's in, it is very impossible to go through. Right. It's impossible to share the Christian message. Bishop, we're so grateful for your courage and for taking the time to explain the situation in Nigeria to us. And we hope to continue to shed light on what's going on there. And we'll pray for your safety.